Hello and welcome. We're back. We are back. That took a bit longer than uh, than we planned, but uh, it was necessary. Family comes first. Right, so we've done the tutorial. We've done the first mission. Now on to the second mission of this campaign playthrough. We did it. We finally took Sicily. Roy said it took 38 days. I'm not counting. I'm just grateful for the break. We lost a lot of good men. And if that wasn't enough, it looks like half the damn German army got away. They'll all be waiting for us on the mainland, no doubt. Although McKay says the Italians have had enough and surrendered. Some of them have even started trying to fight against the Germans. Not sure how effective they'll be. We'll see, I guess. We got word yesterday that the theater commander got kicked back to the U.S. and they're sending someone new. He's gonna have his work cut out for him, that's for sure. Buckram and Norton have been at each other's throats since we landed at Jayla. Roy's been taking bets on who's gonna get punched first. My money's on Norton. He's too arrogant to get us to Rome, if you ask me. Not that anyone does. McKay's got us prepping for the main op. He's still a hard ass, but if anyone can get us through this, it's him. The landing's supposed to be a tactical surprise, but everyone knows where we're headed. The Germans do too, I'd bet. Either way, that new commander's got to spread pretty thin. I hope he knows what he's doing. Okay. Messina. Ah. That famous Welcome place. Welcome to Italy, Commander. Unfortunately, our British allies have allowed the Krauts to retreat to the mainland. I think you'll find, General, that the British forces played their role to perfection. Perhaps you should look closer to home for the cause of the operation's shortcomings. Now listen here, Clarence. It was your insistence on operational prudence that got us into this situation. Commander, where General Buckram and I do agree is that we must follow the Germans and make our way to the Calabria region of Italy as soon as possible. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's the strategic view, yeah. The Germans are retreating north. We need to catch them, then hit them hard. Right. Our advance force is leaving for Calabria, sir. Okay. Sir, we're sending an advance force to Calabria to lay the groundwork for the landings at Salerno and Taranto. The company will be under your direct command. Okay. Companies are the primary controllable unit on the campaign map. They can move, attack, start battles, and use unique abilities. Understood. Let's click your company to select it. There we go. What, you can't find anyone else? Now the company is selected, right-click to move it up the coast. Companies can move multiple times anywhere in the white. Okay. Mm. All right, lads, close the hatches up. The men are doing the best they can, sir, but they'll need to rest before they can advance much further. Okay. Kind of, again, this, for me, starts to feel like a bit of a Total War campaign map, which I love Total War games, so... Uh, right turns, your company has travelled as far as they can this turn. Left click on end turn to restore your company's movement and actions. Be warned, passing to the next turn will give the enemy an opportunity to act. Right, so we've got here. Ah, right, so okay, so we've got terrain here. We've got hill, road, plain. Okay, so that gives us different things. Right, so clicking the end turn button, off we go. The enemy left a supply emplacement up ahead. We need to take it out. Okay. Loyalty rewards your active left, left. Click on your company on to select it again. Companies have one action point per turn indicated by the blue dot on their icon okay right click the supply emplacement to attack it attacking will use your company's action point and drain the rest of their movement okay purchase a detachment in the command cart at your company skills oh look at that so we've got fuel drop these abilities recon artillery designate targets black prints very nice it's a decent tank uh, Real-time battle core upgrades. Okay. And units. 
Okay, what have we got here? We've got the Archers, we've got M3 Stewart, we've got Valentine 2, Sherman, we've got six pounders. Got some dingoes in there as well. And the Humber. Alright, okay, cool. Right, uh, interesting. Alright, so let's uh, do what it says, which is to right click on uh, this thing. Driver, get us closer! Okay. I thought we were suddenly going to go into a RTS environment and attack the supply depot. Instead, our tank just blows it up. There you go. End the turn there. Commander, there's a key town up ahead. Capturing it will free the local Italian people and push the Germans back. Okay. Capture, however you pronounce that, Jordan. Taro. Uh, capturing. Let's click your company to select Ready. it again. Finish your brew, a company's action point can also be used to capture towns. Each town provides a unique benefit. For example, ports can purchase new companies and ships, increases population cap to field more units, provides manpower resources. Fuel munitions depots provide fuel and munition resources, and hospitals can heal companies. Understood. Okay. Right click. Uh, Jotaro to capture it and gain some fuel Not resources. Okay. Okay. Sir, capturing Tropia will allow us to bring more troops ashore to solidify our hold in Calabria. That should be our first priority. Commander, I appreciate Norton's love of ports, but I like to look at the bigger picture. Capturing Chittanova will keep the pressure on the Germans. We should head there first. We could get to Tropia later, Commander. Capturing Chittanova will let us keep hounding the crowds. That's what we're here for. Okay, it's nice to capture the coast road uh area but i actually do like the idea of this plus it looks like it's got um it's like uh some hospital or um like heal thing here so i think i agree potentially here we take sitting over and then we come back for tropia afterwards so i think we go yeah this one that's the right call commander okay hey what's the word uh, right, okay, so we've got... Right, loyalty. The decisions you make can affect how others perceive you. Not following through on such decisions can also have a negative impact on your relationships. Left-click on the loyalty rewards to check your current standing with each of your sub-commanders. Your loyalty standing with each sub-commander not only affects the dialogue, but also unlocks unique upgrades. <coughs> Excuse me. Losing their loyalty can disable these upgrades, so be careful. Balance your decisions to unite your subcommanders under common goals. Okay. Right, so loyalty rewards. Okay. Right. Uh, end turn. Then the actions. Right. So I'm thinking that we come here. Sir, we really should revisit the plan to prioritize Chitanova. Sir, while Chitanova's strategic appeal is undeniable, we really should strengthen our supply lines before placing more strain on the men. No, I think we take Sitanova and then we come back to Tropia. Stay the course. Very well, sir. And then end turn. Command's coming from. Check your targets and open fire, chaps. The damn krauts aren't going to go quietly. We're going to need more time to capture Chittanova. Some towns have defences that need to be removed before they can be captured. This is indicated by shield icons with the town's name. Shields can be removed quickly by bombarding the town or attacking it with more than one company. Understood. Okay. 
Okay. So now what do we do? And you turn. Yeah, we're chugging in ready. Albert, open fire when ranged. Capturing. Uh, completed. There we go. Jetting good. Nova is ours, Commander. It's a good first step on our road to victory. Good evening, Commander. Your troops are a welcome sight. You've been getting tired of all that sauerkraut. Now that we've sated General Buckram's thirst for territory, we should secure access to supplies by capturing Tropia. Yeah, agree. So the good thing is, though, we have improved heal target, uh, restores... Uh, the target infantry company's health. So that's pretty nice. Um, so let's end turn. Alright, and then I want to come across country over here. Okay. And end turn. Not quite what I was expecting. I was expecting when we attack the targets to go into an RTS, a bit like you would in a Total War campaign. So right now this is kind of odd. Alright, but let's go to Tropia. Okay. We have naval support on the way, sir. They may be able to speed up our capture of Tropia. Okay. So, left click to destroy the naval units. Look at that. Uh, ships move from buoy to buoy. Right click this buoy to move the destroyer. Cool. Okay. And then left click the bombard ability to select it. Then left click on the map to select its, to set its target. Try using it on Tropia. Okay. Right, let's move it up, right, uh, there. That should clear out any lingering German forces. We should now use our company to capture Tropia. What's the okay. I know the targets are moving. Hit them anyway! Tropia is go. under our control, sir. The port will allow us to bring in more men and strengthen our grip on Calabria. Yep, agree. There we go. Interesting. Sir, we should put the port to use by requisitioning another company. Right. Requisition a second company. Okay. How do we do that? Additional companies and vessels can be requisitioned from ports. Left click on Tropia and purchase a second company. Okay. Manage seaport. What can we have? So we can purchase uh, either of these, but it wants us to purchase a US Airborne Company, so let's do that. Purchased. I don't know, there's a shipyard, purchase ships, okay. So we've done that. It takes multiple turns for companies to arrive. Let's click the end turn button when you're ready. Okay. Airborne We've got available. a new company on the way, sir. Once it arrives, we'll be able to continue our advance. Okay. Find and engage the German We've got company. reports a German company is trailing just north of Pizzo, but we don't have their exact position. We need to find them before they can reinforce. Okay. The Germans are on the run, sir. We could go straight up the roads and hope we're faster, or we could transport a company from Tropia to get a head start. Yeah, let's do that. Right away, sir. Transport a company from Tropia. Alright, move a company to Tropia, then right-click it to garrison them in the Looks port. Looks like we'll be working for a living. Uh, right. Left click Tropia to select it. Left click the transport ability to select it, then left click on the map to set its target. Okay. 
Okay. We've got eyes on that enemy company, and they're looking weak. We need to hit them now. We got a mission, airborne. Okay. Uh... Let's do some good, boys. Ah, right, okay, so now we're engaging the company, we get to fight it, right? So, airborne, veterancy, this is for skill points, we've got um, strength comparison, support abilities, none. Right, so we can't battle or retreat, we can only auto-resolve. Okay, auto-resolve. I do, I, I'm getting total war vibes, guys, total war vibes on this, okay? Right, anyway, uh, auto-resolve, off we go. Uh, auto-resolve will simulate this battle and its outcome by manually playing the skirmish. You may receive less damage and earn a skill point from a bonus objective. Do you wish to continue? Not really, I want to fight it, but don't, you're not giving me a choice. So, um, right, confirm. Skirmish was a victory, plus 25 uh, XP. Uh, effectors, rewards, right, okay. And exit. The Germans are still retreating, Commander, but they're weak. We'll find them again, and when we do, that'll be the end of them. Okay. Um. Well, right, I've still got this company. Oh, There's a major port up ahead, Commander. We should capture it and consolidate our forces before continuing our advance up the mainland. Where's the port? Which port is he talking about? Capture Catanzaro. Where is that? We've got Shirava. I'm guessing it's up here somewhere, but I can't see it. Okay, well, let's use this one to take this. Okay, and we can end turn there. We only need one unit to hunt down that enemy company. Our other forces could do some good by securing those other towns. Agreed. Understood. We'll send one company after the enemy troops. And use the rest to liberate nearby towns. Yeah. Okay. Command's coming through. So you're going to go after this. Order coming in, boys. Uh, right. Where are we going? Yeah, Squad, maybe. form up and move out. Let's give Jerry a greeting that he ain't never gonna forget. Okay, so we've got that. We've got skills as well. Paratroop airdrop. Uh, we can take and hold. This is capture rate. We can purchase grant support ability calling medical trucks during real time battles. Uh, we can get a 4x4 truck. We could get a paratrooper airdrop, or we could get smoke bombing run, or a HMG paradrop. Yeah, let's. Let's go with that. Um, hey, what's the word? We really need to get some healing onto that company here. Armor's ready to go. You got your target. Now bloody hitting. Okay. Paratroopers standing by. Where the question is, where are we going here with these with this company? Where are we going?
By the numbers, boys. Let's do it. We got any ships over here? Doesn't look like it. You need a tank? You can't find anyone else. Okay. Enemy actions. All right. Let's send you over here. No ships. Even though I've got boys, I've got no ships We're over here. Boys. Pay attention, little asses. Plug every crow you can. Alright. So Hold that's up, now Stand gone. By. Now good. We can take this. Yeah. We should check your targets and open fire. Jack. Move your eye, Blake. Orders. Doesn't have enough to do that. Let's take that out. And end the turn. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to send you in to capture this town. Okay, we've captured the additional towns, and now we can send you to capture Catanzaro. Good. That's Catanzaro captured. The enemy is on the run, but there's no way we can catch up to the entire German army like this. Hold tight at Catanzaro so our reserves can catch up. We're planning further landing operations up north at Salerno and Taranto to cut off the retreating Axis forces. Okay. Push north, that's complete. Victory. Okay, MVP was the South Dakota class. Uh, okay. Let me see what he did. Um... different not what i was expecting not what i was expecting but we've done it we've done it and we are continuing kind of cool the one thing that campaign map thing or the way that's that's done is it's it's making me re really want creative assembly to do a total war a second world war and a total war warhammer 40k 